Hi all folks, this is Max from Epic4G Touchroot.com. I'm gonna show you today how to install the leaked ICS FC24, which is the latest one as of this video, on your Epic 4G Touch with a uh, Mac OS X. Actually, I have a Hackintosh OS X. Um, so first you'll want to put it into download mode, hold down volume down and the power button. Alright, and uh, you can do this anytime, just hold it for like 10 seconds and you'll see this warning sign. And you'll see it right about now and hit volume up and connect a micro USB cable from your phone to your Mac and let's go to our computer next you want to download this file called um, sph-d10 underscore fc 24.tar uh, double click it and it will unarchive it, uncompress it, unzip it for you and also you have to have the Heimdall 1.3.1 installed. Don't use 1.3.2, I've had problems with it. I have instructions on how to install Heimdall and how to use it. I have links below. Um, basically you just download it and install it. Once you install Heimdall, open it up. Um, Heimdall front end. And uh, here you'll wanna uh, go to utilities, hit detect. Um, if you haven't downloaded your PIT file, download it here, save as, and download. And uh, uh, once you've downloaded the PIT file, we're going to use that PIT file here. I'll put it in my download folder, epic4g.touch.pit. Always use uh, PIT file you download it yourself. Don't use the one off the internet. You never know where it's come from. Don't choose any, just leave everything blank there. Hit add there. Choose a... Uh, um, Oh, let me show you the what, what's on uh, uncompressed. You'll find the three files. The factory fs.img is uh, basically your ROM. Modem.bin is basically your modem. Z image is your kernel. So we're gonna first do uh, factory fs and choose that file that we just unzipped. Uh, factory fs.img. Hit open, and we're gonna add another one. Um, go to modem and browse and choose modem.bin hit ok and hit add again um, choose kernel and choose the image and uh, before you begin make sure you have factory fs modem kernel sometimes when you press the buttons fast um, you sometimes it, you know you don't do it right and simply hit start and this will uh, unroot your phone or and also upgrade your phone to FC24. Um, so it's uploading modem, uh, kernel, modem, and it's gonna upload the uh, factory FS, which is the longest part. Um, so it should work here. And uh, this won't actually erase your personal settings, data apps. Um, but if you don't do any wipe, you you might have uh, you, you just one out of hundred people might end up in a boot loop. Um, you can fix that easily by doing a factory reset. Um, I'll show you how again. And uh, it should be on the leaked FC24 with the FC24 modem. I think this is actually better modem um, than you know the previous versions. And I'll have a full review of this. And uh, you can always reset your custom binary count. It still works. I just tried it. Get a, a USB jig, you can get it on the Amazon, build your um, funky looking one like mine, which is cool. I like it, collectibles. Um, so I'll be back. This modem part usually takes, hangs a little bit, and, um, and the factory FS should work right after that. I'll be back. If you get a, a modem fail like this and it didn't go through, you can try it again. I'll just put it in download mode. It's not going to break your device at all. So I'm going to try again. Hold down the volume down and the power button. And most likely the modem flashed since it went through 100%. Um, there we go. Volume up. And uh, since you've flashed the kernel already, you, you'll see it here. Um, you, you can just uh, get rid of modem there. Remove. Oops, sorry. Kernel, I mean. And uh, let me add back the modem uh, modem and we'll do this again uh, modem.bin 
Oop, I ran out of battery on the camera. Here, there we go. Um, so we're gonna hit start again. Just uh, since we flashed the kernel already, I'm gonna try the modem and the factory FS again. It's downloading modem again, and uh, I think it, it ran. If you if it goes to 100%, it, it should be fine. But we'll just do it again. You know, just make sure it goes through, and I'll be back when this is going through. Oh, there you go. It actually uh, updated. You see that uploading modem, and then it should get to factory uh, FS. The Heimdall is a little bit more iffy than Odin on Windows. I don't know why, but I mean it's it's an open source. It's you know, whereas the Odin is directly from Samsung. That's probably why, but it still works. You just you know sometimes you have to retry, which is no big of a deal. So I'll be back when this is uh, done. So this time I've got uh, modem successful and it's actually went to factory FS. Um, so it should be fine. I, I I think it's because when you flash the kernel and then the modem, it's kind of gets funky. So just you know, you can do one at a time if you want. It doesn't matter uh, which order you go. Just as long as you uh, successfully flash all of them, you should be all good to go. And uh, there we go. Still going. And that's the problem I was having with Factory FS. For some reason, it wouldn't flash with the uh, latest Heimdall for OS X 1.3.2. Um, but 1.3.1, as soon as I loaded up, it worked fine. So I'll have links to this one. Um, use 1.3.1, the older version. It works just fine. It should work on um, all kinds of Macs. I think it also works on uh, PowerPC, if you like the old PowerPC work on Lion. I have Snow Leopard here. And uh, when, once this is done, we sh you should get uh, FC24 leaked ICS. And if you're, you can also do this if you're coming from a stock um, stock ROM. And uh, it won't delete your wipe anything, but update you to ICS, leaked ICS. And if you want to go back, you'll have to flash a kernel with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, you just have to flash that uh, and then you know use Clockwork Mod Recovery to restore your ROM or install another ROM. And uh, a lot of people ask me this, can you flash Gingerbread to ICS, ICS to Gingerbread? Yes, you don't have to worry about anything. Just as long as you can access Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, you can use the menus to mount it as a USB copy your ROM files and install new ROM or restore your old ROM from ICS, you know. So it's very easy to do once you you get the hang of how everything works on this Galaxy S2 uh, phones, the Epic 4G Touch. Very easy to do. Just getting that part is probably uh, the learning curve. But once you get through it, it's it's easy. You know, it's so easy. That's why I love about Android. It's even though this is like not even supported um, the ROMs and stuff by Google, but it's it's you know made for that and you know. All these open source tools are just awesome, like, you know, Heimdall. So it worked. Um, I finally flashed, <laughs> flashed everything. This is my, like, 20th take, by the way, because I couldn't get it working in the beginning um, with the Heimdall 1.3.2. But it's all done, and uh, it should be updated to FC24. You can go to um, settings about phone and you'll see you have FC24 under baseband version and uh, FC24 you should be on ICS anyway that was how to install uh, uh, F leaked ICS the latest FC24 on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch Galaxy S2 phone for Sprint um, using OS X and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me. It helps me a lot greatly. Um, favorite it and also um, subscribe to my channel. If you have, thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, I'm going to get more high on Android, folks. And stay high. See you all later. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Um, this method does not wipe your data at all. You Actually, I didn't have to sign into my Google. Um, it keeps everything. I came actually from a TMZ custom ROM 
and I have all my apps, all my settings. Um, so my Gmail is still working. So, but just in case, it sometimes you can end up in a boot loop if you're coming from a custom ROM um, because the data is corrupt or whatever. Um, you can do a stock reset. Uh, hold down the volume up and the power button together for about 10 seconds and uh, there's a menu you can get into the stock recovery here show you in a second and you get in this menu let go of both buttons um, select wipe data factory reset and say yes and it, and then reboot and you should be all good to go but I'm not gonna do it because um, I already have my data <laughs> I don't wanna wipe it and you should be able to get out of those boot loops. Anyway, just an addition. Alright, see y'all.